So basically what I love to do before a date is I love to take one singular double shot. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings internet, it's Katie. <laughs> Julia. Pooja. And today we are brightening your computer screen with a really fun video. We're doing a little cooking, baking, I guess. Baking. Not cooking. It's baking's the correct way to say it. Um, and we're answering your questions. You guys asked us on Instagram. There are some really good ones on there. And we're just gonna make some very fun little uh, sweet concoctions that Julia's gonna sweet explain. Concoctions. Vegan chocolate chip cookies. There are only three ingredients, but we're also gonna improvise a little. Mm -hmm. So it's two cups of oats. Two cups of oats. Two and a half bananas. We have plenty of bananas, <laughs> some riper than others. Half a cup of chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. and we already sweet. ate. Yeah, oh my god, we've already I eaten. I ate so many. We already sauce. cracked yeah, into it. Chips. Some flax and chia seeds to make it a little healthy. <gasps> no! <laughs> it's okay, it's perfect. It's okay. That's That's perfect. Going anyway. Also, please note we did wash our hands before touching anything. Um, even okay. though Pooja just started us off on a bad foot, I'm currently putting two cups of oats. <laughs> into the bowl and next I will mash the bananas or Pooja will mash the bananas. I will mash the bananas. Actually, so the yeah. first question we're gonna answer is how did you guys meet? I met Pooja, did I meet Pooja before you did? Yeah, I gave, did you, I I gave you a tour. Pooja was my tour guide at Elon, so we essentially are all friends from Elon. She yeah, was my tour guide there. when I was still in high school. I was literally obsessed with Katie's mom. <laughs> like. I just wanted to hang out with Katie's mom, so I sort of made her stand in the front. And so Pooja's a big reason why I chose Elon. Yeah, it was you and Hannah Yeah, your parents. Yeah. Yeah. Hannah Pooja was a senior when we were freshmen. Pooja's actually my GG big in our sorority, which is weird because she's- That's correct. Um, I'm her grandma, grandma big. Julia and I met when I was giving sober rides. <laughs> And Julia was like, I lost my phone, can you please help me find it? And I didn't know who she was, and I was like, sure. It was in my back. And we looked, <laughs> you can't, no, I was gonna build up, okay? So we looked for so long, and then I kept getting notifications being like iPhone found or something like that, and I was like, okay, Julia, it's here, and it was in her back pocket. And then uh, we hung out every single day after. How to overcome lack of self-esteem and confidence. I mean, this is like such mom advice, but you don't have to be doing what everyone else is doing. For sure. You really dull. It's like, and it's a lot of times you find that out. All. A lot of times you all. find that out after college. Yeah, yes. it takes a, I think it takes a while. Like a few I think years. that yeah, everyone after. figures it out at different points in their life. I really feel like once you kind of get comfortable with yourself and you start figuring out why you like yourself mm -hmm. and like you genuinely develop a relationship with yourself, you will feel so confident and you'll want to like showcase that with yeah. everyone and Definitely. also having amazing friends really That's helps. true, having a hype team, but then also yeah. just like finding new ways to be proud of yourself. For new sure. Reasons to be proud of yourself because once you become like your own biggest fan, which sounds so stupid, but like it's true, right. you just need to build a better relationship with yourself. Definitely. And people pick up on that. Yeah. I also yeah. heard great advice the other day. Oh. I don't remember where. It might have been on Twitter. It was saying, would you treat your best friend or your friend the way that you treat yourself? Ooh, that's so true. The or advice your that members. you give your friends what you need to give yourself. Yeah. So I have mixed in the oats, which is was what? The oats. Two, the two <laughs> cups of oats. Whoa. Gorgeous. Chocolate chips. Oh, oh my god, gorgeous. Oh, can they see? I hope so. Mashed bananas. Thank you, Pooja, for mashing. Uh, you know, are just sprinkling some chia and flax seeds. I added some ground cinnamon and some golden blossom honey. <laughs> just improvising. What's the next step? Put them on the tray. Oh, sheet. Yeah. Them. Yes. yes. Cookie sheet? Yes. Okay. So Michelle wants to know, do you guys worry about life timelines, meeting your guy, biological clock, etc. I feel like I used to worry more than I do now. Mm -hmm. um, because just growing up, you think, I mean, the times have just changed so much. But yeah. I used to be like, oh, by this age I need to be dating someone and then after this amount of time dating mm -hmm. them, I need to hopefully be married to them and I need mm -hmm. to be at this level of my job living here. And I still do have a, like my long-term plan, but I don't, worry because again I just do feel like everyone's journey is different and yeah. I like as long as you honestly just don't compare yourself. Right. I feel the older I've gotten, the younger I realize I am. <laughs> That's a good mindset. In a, in a way because when I was younger I always tell my parents, which my mom frequently reminds me of, um, that I wanted to be married by the time I was 25 and now <laughs> I'm almost 27 and I can't even imagine that. But everyone's different. Everyone's yeah. different. So we put the cookies in for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, so set a timer for that. I just feel like you can kind of change when you want to do things based on different factors in your life at any point. Like there's no set timeline. Definitely. And I mean, for me personally, relationship wise, I used to 
they can attest. I was very often in a relationship, and she's a serial dater. Serial dater. Serial no, I really wasn't. Dater. I was not that bad. I really Your was title dater. is Julia not even nearly. Is a serial dater. Not even compared Julia. to some other people. Are you kidding? I'm gonna get so defensive about this. You're comparing yourself. Extreme. Julia's a serial dater. We say it out of the love of our heart. That's like, offensive. And that's fine. If you want a serial date, it's fine. It, you learn things. Yeah. As Julia's learned so much. Anyway, the moral of the story is I am. A I have, <laughs> I have vowed not to be in another relationship uh, for a very, very long time for the foreseeable future. So before I was like, you know, you're kind of like looking for a partner, looking for a partner, and mm -hmm. then you realize like, wait, I actually don't need anyone, nor do I want anyone. So now I've been single for quite some time now, and I continue, I plan to continue to be for a very long time. Yeah, you've been in a really good place of like, oh my god, I'm in the most mentally strong place feeling? I have think yeah. I've ever been. Yeah. yeah. And you don't feel tied down. You feel yeah. Like yeah. Really... I feel like I don't have to mold my future plans around a person, which I yeah. used to do. I used to yeah. be like, oh, well, I can't, I want to move here, but I can't because of this person or That's so whatever. Cool. And now I'm like, I can do whatever, excuse my French, the fuck I want. <laughs> And I do, so it's really great. And listen, sometimes you just don't want to share a bed with someone for a while. In all caps, should I ask my barista out? I have his snap because we're kind of friends. Yes! In just all do it. caps. Yes! What's the, the worst, worst that could happen? The worst he's going to say is no. And, and then you go to another coffee shop for a few months. Wait, everyone. who was that? Can you screenshot? So we, yeah, I'm going to so screenshot. We check in. So we're going to check in to see how it goes when you do it. Wow, I'm invested. Tips for having a good first date. Don't order French onion soup. Just kidding. <laughs> Why not? Um, that's a, I mean, that's a good one. Is your bread? No, because it's like it's dangling. Oh. Just kidding. French onion seems my favorite. First date. Love a first date. Don't go we out for baby back ribs. ribs. No, no ribs. <laughs> um, don't eat baby back ribs. Or a coffee seed bagel. Okay, Julia. Sorry, I'm kidding. So basically what I love to do before a date is I love to take one singular double shot. <laughs> I was just going to say, I always have a glass of wine. I also oh, always, I always get like a hot flash when I'm like, when I'm like seven to ten minutes in the zone and like, Approaching the destination. I've got I've asked the Uber driver to drop me off like 12 blocks away multiple times and he's like we're almost there. I'm like, I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna walk. And then I get there, I'm like sweating hot fast. So yeah, don't <laughs> don't do what I do, but it usually ends up fine after like seven to ten minutes of sitting at the table mm -hmm. because then the heart rate goes down. And then you're like proud of yourself for putting yourself out there. Yeah, and yes. then you're like start okay. off with like a really broad topic. So like they'll be speaking for a while and you can collect yourself and, and mm -hmm. kind of plan what you're gonna say. Um, you know, be, be like, how was your day today? Like, what did you do today? I yeah. also think a lot of people say not to talk about certain topics on your first day, but I like to get them out of the way. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, politic Who are you voting wise, for? Yeah, saying. politics wise, I like to kind <laughs> of gauge that topic because it's very important to me. And the right person wouldn't be like turned off by right. talking about real things. Like, yeah. It's just like, where did you grow up? I mean, there's like certain things you get at you ice break. Yeah. But then it's like, I don't think there's anything wrong with having like a deep, good conversation yeah. in our state. Crazy drunk story. Um, last, last night. night. <laughs> Guys, last Too night. Many. I don't know what got into us last night. We were we literally, we were like on the voice and burlesque. We knocked and out American Idol. two bottles of wine and some martinis and we were just putting on Didn't leave the house. performance. We were in the living room singing Taylor Swift with the remote control as a, it was just a lot. Taylor Swift's entire discography. We went through it all. <laughs> we took turns performing for the group. Yeah. So anyway, we should have done ratings. I know. But we also did This Is Avril Lavigne. I feel that's important to point that's out. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Avril Lavigne is Avril Lavigne is an extremely underrated artist. Mm -hmm. She wrote all of those songs when she was 15 to 17 years old. She deserved so much more hype for that album. <laughs> How to get a cool job post-grad. I'm struggling. Pooja, do you have any insight on this? On like getting a cool job or getting like a job? I feel like we've talked a lot about it. Yeah, how to get a job. I feel like I have a lot of feedback on, on not things not to do, but some helpful hints based on mm -hmm. what has been sent to me. Um, so <laughs> basically, I think that when you're a senior in college, it's a great time to start reaching out um, to alumni or to people you interned with or anyone that you feel could help you like with different companies that you're interested in. Um, I work in social media and digital media and started out in sales, so it was uh, a windy road, but I always wanted to work in marketing. Anyone who got back to me, I would do like informationals on the phone. I think what's really important is that you should be very specific about what you wanna do, and I know that that's hard when you're graduating, but there's a lot of people who email me being like, I really like magazines, or I like fashion, or I like 
entertainment, and that's so broad. But just do some research. Uh, LinkedIn is an absolutely amazing resource. Know your stuff. Yeah, know your stuff, and especially if you are detail oriented and you know exactly what field you want to get to, people will be very impressed by that, mm -hmm. and will be more likely to respond to your emails and reach out. Um, apply for internships or apprentice apprentice. Ships. Apprenticeships. Network. Go to networking events and reach mm -hmm. out to alumni. Networking like, is so, so big. Key. Like, so big. You can apply for, you know, your dream job at this company and you could have all the credentials so in the hard. world. But yeah. someone who has the same credentials as you, maybe even a little bit less, but knows someone at the company, will get the job. Yes. It's, it's just how unfortunate. It's just yeah. how it is. But I, I, yeah. I think going off of what Pooja was saying about just being super specific about what you want yeah. and what you're doing and like that would be good. Like that's hard for you because for me, I know like when I was nearing graduation, I had all these different things I really liked to do that were specific, but like a lot of different things. So I would suggest and what I did to get my job that I eventually left, but that I was at for a bit, was just focusing on one of those things. Like pick one thing that you like to do and that you think you have a future in and just run with that for the time being. You can always switch gears completely, but like starting out with something super specific and be confident about that one thing. Also like even when I, because when I first graduated, I worked in wholesale and I, just knew that it wasn't right for me, so I just met with a ton of different people who worked in like digital production, marketing, social marketing, social media production, and would ask them what they do in a day. And I think that that's really helpful because you can kind of gauge mm -hmm. what your responsibilities would be and if you're actually interested in that. So I would highly suggest that. Um, and just, yeah, meeting with everyone and seeing what they do and maybe you can ask if they, you can see some of their work. Mm -hmm. Oh, favorite Harry Styles favorite song Harry Styles is pretty good. Honestly. She. We're all yeah. very big Harry Styles fans. Out of all of them, you're just going to say she. Like, you don't have a few? I know, but they said favorite. Like, like I, the I love all of his songs and I love him to pieces, but she is the one that I just... The number one. I, I think there are just so many different interpretations of she, and every time I listen to it, I'm like, like well, you can, can only this. listen to one for the rest of your life. She. I, um, I think I would do Watermelon Sugar, honestly, because I listen to it so much. Adore You puts me in the best mood, and I just want to go on the beach and dance around with a glass of wine. But I also love to be so lonely. <laughs> yeah, let's go. And I also love Kiwi when I'm walking down the street. I think Kiwi for walking Kiwi down the street. Kiwi makes me feel like a song. confident, yes. badass yeah. girl. Like, mm -hmm. you know in the opening montages of movies where it's people who live in New York and they have like 12 shopping bags? And they just got their hair done and yeah. they're like walking down the street like this? That's and then Kiwi. someone almost spills something on them, they go, hey, watch it! Whose That's cat me. is in your videos That's and what's her name? Wait, where is this? Julia, how the, you spotted that um, from a mile away. Yeah, I didn't even see that question. Her cat well, she's my cat. Where is she? Oh, she Wait, jumped on my told. head at four in the morning. Julia got this cat when we were in college and she had the cat in our sorority house. We like hid the cat. We were, we're, not we're, in we were not allowed to have animals and she got this, this cat. She looks like a Samoa cookie girl scout. <laughs> her name is Piper and she is my baby. And I am a cat mom. She literally turns it on for the camera. She does. She's yeah. Saucy. She knows what she's doing. Anyway, but yeah, that Julia's cat is the cat that is in my videos. <gasps> Those look divine. What hobbies do you plan to do while social distancing? Um, we're going to read. Concerts. We brought six books. We're, we're going to put read, on concerts yeah. for each other. We're going to do concerts. We're, Julia has us on some circuit workouts that we've been doing. We're quite sore today. God, it looks Yes. <laughs> we had this like, situation where we like had stations and we'd like rotate around the stations. Yeah, and I would call drills and say motivational things. She would, Katie was about to give up ten, with 10 seconds left. I said, come on, Katie. Know your worth. I was doing You burpees. can do this. Yeah, we're doing burpees. Anyway, today she did it. Today's arms. Yesterday was last. Arms and abs is today. It's oh, today. Doing it, Julia's so. boot camp. We're still doing that. It's free. Maybe. But we're also going to film a lot of videos mm -hmm. and just catch up on, I mean, I think this is a we good have time. To work. We have to work all we week. We have to work all week, yes. We're working remotely, but I think it's a good time for us to just kind of like catch up on the things we don't really have time to do. Like, Katie and I are sleeping in the same room on two twins. We can hold hands across our hands. Hands. Six feet really apart. How do you ladies deal when you're pissed with each other? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's a good one. When we're that's mad good. at each other. Okay, Julie wait. and I got in our first fight last night. Yeah, because no, we like don't fight. How do you ladies deal? That it's word for word, it's how do you ladies deal when you're pissed with each other? Which it's I really, really like how it's worded. Me too. So, um, I think the best is just space. Um, Pooja and I got in a little bit of a tiff last <laughs> night. It wasn't anything crazy. After a few glasses of wine, um, she asked me to bring her a glass of water down Twelve to her bed. And I said yes, and then I didn't bring it because I didn't. No, but the best is I like, forgot. I had Katie can attest. I literally was like, Julia, don't forget my water. Like, please yeah, don't, you said don't forget my water. And yeah. she was like, okay. And then <laughs> we go downstairs and she comes down. I'm like, Julia. And she's like, what? And I'm like, where's my water? She's like, I never got you one. 
And I was like, Haiti. <laughs> we are gossiping about it. We gossiped in our twin beds. But okay, so all honestly, I've I didn't know legitimately that never been mad at these two. And um, whenever I am mad with a close friend, I'm, we're very honest about it because mm -hmm. being passive aggressive is annoying and no one's got time for it and we're adults. Just be straightforward, but also just yes. give yourself space. Katie and I have gotten a few yes. like, Drunk disagreements. They're usually um, always drunk disagreements. Yeah, we've never like soberly gotten an effect. But then the next morning, I'm like, I wake up and I'm like, Is Katie mad at me? And then I text her, I'm like, Are you mad at me? And she's like, No, no, that's cool. And that's fine. Yes, it's, yeah. just, it's yeah. always over something stupid like pizza. It's or, always you know, yeah. like, over pizza. But I think <laughs> it's important to when you're in like a real full fledged fight. I feel like I'm pretty. I don't mm -hmm. really like ever get in those. But if I do, like just. Do your best to be a little bit understanding of the other person and like hopefully they will do the same to you. Like don't back down, like yeah. if something's bothering you, make it known that it's bothering you and then like of course it probably won't happen again hopefully. But like just, uh, yeah, just be like yeah. understanding of what the other person is thinking as well. That's like, like, she can't it's like you rang, I heard a camera was here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, how to shoot your shot, literally shoot it. We've been, we've been very into, um, Sorry. Keep it out. Actually, like just doing whatever we want this year. I say slide into DMs. I say go up to someone at a bar and say, hey, would you like me to get you a drink? And then hope that they buy the drinks the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> um, I say text people on dating apps that you haven't talked to in months that you never got drinks with and say, want to get a drink? Been doing that recently. That's fun. It's fun. Um, yeah, I hate small talk. I like just. Just shoot your shot. Shoot just your shoot shot. it. Guys, on my last video that we did together, like friend video, I said to just like slide in someone's like on hinge and just say, like, I think you're cute. And so many of you guys have tried that and it's been successful. I love that. So I continue to say on Hinge or any dating app or anything, just literally right just like fire away, <laughs> like first message, just say like, hey, I think you're really cute. Let's get a drink sometime. I'm going to do that right now. Do it right now. Let's we'll see. How, oh, this is a good social experiment. Hey, I think you're cute. Let's get a drink sometime. Yeah, do it to someone right now. I'm going to say, hey, all. you're cute. How can you get someone to fall in love with you when you are quarantined? quarantined. I love this question. This is like the same energy that <laughs> you're on. Um, this is the level of chaos that we think on. A yes. daily basis. <laughs> we're like, great, so now so basically, we're, I we're think, single AF, but now we're single AF while being quarantined. Right. So if we could get so, some context. I think um, you just don't want to fall in love during because you don't want to spread. But you can talk But if something. you're like texting all you the time text. and stuff, yeah, you could FaceTime. The dating apps are going wild right no, now. No, my dating apps are exploding <laughs> right now. Yeah, everyone, everyone is wants, so bored. Everyone wants just to like chat. With, I don't you know, advocate with like going on dates right now, I would say hold off yeah. on going on actual dates. An idea. If you and this person haven't watched one of the viral shows right now, like Love is Blind or Love Island UK season six on Hulu or Love Island Australia, oh. you can say, why don't we both start the show and talk about it so then you're texting all the time. You have something to talk about. Yeah, yeah. And they'll fall in love with you for your wit and your banter, a word that we picked up from Love Island UK. Go to karaoke song. Well, mine was, I mean, last night we all got to pick a song. Katie goes, do not look at what I'm typing. And I was like, close your eyes. I, I could have told you before we even asked the question what Katie would have picked. Love. And <laughs> Love Story by Taylor Swift is my go-to karaoke song. I really get super mm. heated about it. I literally get down on one knee at the part where she's talking about She that. did. And it, it, I get very emotional when that song comes on. So um, that's my song usually. Mine, last night, I love Louis Capaldi because I really just um, can... Really hit those notes yeah. and felt it and I just think that he's such a silly, silly man. Mine is usually totally Eclipse of the Heart, but last night <laughs> I was really feeling this is Avril Lavigne on Spotify. What body count makes you think hell nah? I think body count is stupid. I think it's stupid. I think it's something that... Do your thing. Do whatever you want to do, but as long as you're, uh, Yeah, as long as you're safe and you're, you feel like you're taking care of yourself, you're okay, whatever, you're... I don't see why a number has anything to do with like whether or not someone will love you later on. Like I, I just like, come to the conclusion that like I, but I guess it is a personal thing. But like I wouldn't care like if a guy that I like really cared about, like was with like a certain amount of people. <laughs> Piper, what do you have to say on the topic? I have uh, I've had a side account me. conversation with past relationships and it just never just ever ends up never have the conversation. Yeah. It just never ends well no matter what the number is, high or low, because then you just start thinking about like those things and it just oh like because <laughs> no one knows what to expect. It's just yeah. not it. Piper has I got it. I got it. She a really high body count and we accept her for it. Yeah. Piper is a strong 
Empowered woman. She sets an example for women all over the globe every day. We like talked about this last night. I raised her. We were like, Piper is so strong. She is. is. Embarrassing dating stories. I feel like that's funny. This guy tried to kiss me when I was leaving after I like got my friend to call me. It was actually that bad. I texted my friend was like, please call me. I need to leave. Then he tried to kiss me when I was leaving, but I turned my face and he like licked this part. Like he was like (laughs) right here. And we were at a communal table and I just stood back like this and looked at everyone's face and everyone was like, <laughs> oh my god, you were at a table with other people? Yeah. yeah. Like one table. of those, oh. It was really bad. Wow. Um, for me, let's think. I went on a date one time and I was carded with a second form of ID they made me give and the guy I was not. They were like, yeah, go on in. And then I was like fumbling to find a second form of ID. What and, was your second form of ID? And I was like, ID? I know I look like I'm 14, but... I swear to God, I'm 24. It was a credit card. Hey guys, I'm gonna bring over one cookie just Are to Are we gonna taste you. test? Yes. This is what the cookie oh. looks like. You can't see it. Oh, it's like your fingers. <laughs> oh, it's my face. No, I don't want my face on it. Can you see? I can you see the cookie? See. Whatever. It's cute. It's, it's, really cute. Cute. it's cute. It's cute. I mean, it's okay. like, can we taste test? Okay. Oh, it's oh. pretty good. And that's vegan. Three, go- three ingredients. Three ingredients. Well, what do you have to say about it, Piper? Wait, that is divine. <laughs> we got this recipe from the Instagram account nourishing, just no. at nourishing. Nourishing? I say nourishing. Nourishing. I was trying to pronounce it. It's nourishing. Nourish, nourish. 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 right? Nourish. <laughs> Tell the story of what. Oh, come so on. Okay. <laughs> Tell the story. So the other day we were talking about our favorite words. Like favorite words to say. One of mine happens to be sausage in French, which is saucisson. And Julia, and Julia goes, oh, so so not like goes, to tell it. Julia goes, oh, so, <laughs> sausage. That's what they say in London. They write sausage. And I was like, Julia, that is saucy song <laughs> in French. I lost it. But she we was like, woo! It. it was like a had to be there moment. It was way more fun. It was hysterical. In the like, she literally thought that they wrote sausage. Yeah. <laughs> All it's my okay. French followers, where are you at? French followers, okay? Yeah. What should we do for the end? How should we close it? Let us know down below, guys, what you thought of this video and what videos you guys want me to film or us to film this week because we will have some free time um, to film some more content for you guys. Send Katie your finished cookie photos. Yes, if you do the cookie (laughs) recipe that we recommended. And I think Um, I was pretty clear about the ingredients of this. We'll have them listed down below as well if you can catch the beginning or... um, these random, I don't know how My hands are so sticky now. Um, thank you for watching this video, guys. We ate all the cookies. We already <laughs> ate all the cookies. Um, they're already all gone. There's one left. There's one left. left. We'll talk to you all in our next video. Mm. Bye. I don't know why I did that. Am I high school video? Bye. 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 Bye.